Hi, this is Eric for Otoy. In this video, we're going to look at working with the AI denoiser when rendering a Unity scene using Octane. So for this video, I'm using the space filling station scene. I'm going to close the Octane settings here and just take a look at the scene. You can see we have our little robot friend and the filling station in the background. And the light in the scene is coming from a skylight and several emissive surfaces. The AI denoiser is designed to get you to a smoother result faster when rendering with Octane uh, so that you can use a lower sample setting uh, when you're rendering your scenes. So the denoiser settings are found in the PBR render target. So if I select the PBR render target in the hierarchy and go over to the inspector, I'm going to go all the way to the bottom here and find the imager settings. So let's expand the imager settings. And down here, you'll see Spectral AI Denoiser. And this is what enables the uh, denoising, allows you to adjust its settings. Now, it's very important to note that in order to actually see the result of the denoiser, you need to have your Render Passes menu set to denoised. So if I set this to Main, you'll see that it's actually quite noisy in the scene. So a lot of noise. If I set it to denoised, it's nice and smooth. So let's take a look at the settings in the spectral AI denoiser area of the imager. The first one is fairly self-explanatory, enable denoising. So if this is off, then we're not going to see any denoising when it renders and we see a fairly noisy scene. So the noise in the scene is related to how many samples you're using. So I'm going to go up in the inspector in the PBR render target settings and let's collapse camera for the moment and expand kernel. So here is the sample settings. So normally you would set this value as high as you needed in order to render a nice clean version of the scene. So I have this set to 60 samples, which is pretty low. If I set this up to 800, and then what you'll see is that it's going to continue rendering. So you can see the little counter down here until it reaches that value of 800. So I just picked 800 as sort of a random value. So normally what you would do is you would find the ideal value through experimentation. So if I set this to a value of 800 and I still see some noise back here, then I know I need to increase it and keep increasing it until I get a nice clean render. So I set this up to like 1200 or something like that. It'll keep rendering until it hits 1200. So as you can see, this adds a lot of time to the render. By using the AI denoiser, I can put this at a much lower value and achieve a nice smooth result much sooner. So I'm going to set this back down to 60. And let's uh, just zoom in a little bit so it starts a new render. So you can see it doesn't take too long to get to 60, but we have a lot of noise. So we'll go down here, turn on enable denoising, make sure that the render pass is set to denoised to see the result. You'll see it'll start to render, and then immediately that denoiser will come in and smooth everything out. So now it's really a question of finding the optimum sample setting so that the smooth parts don't look too blotchy. So this looks a little bit blotchy back here, and there's some other areas that could be a little bit better. So, you know, maybe we'll set this to, say, 100 or something like that. And we can kind of experiment with that until we get a satisfactory result. Each of these settings will pop up a little description of what the option does if you hover over it. Another very important setting is the blend option. If this is set to zero, that means we're only seeing the denoised result. If I set this to one, then we're seeing the original result without denoising. And I can blend in between those values to kind of increase the sharpness if the denoised version is a little bit too blurry. So if I set this to like 0.2, I'm going to have a little bit of the undenoised version uh, affecting the scene. So it can, can sharpen things up a little bit. We might need to increase the samples in order to uh, remove the noise. So it's just a nice way to kind of fine tune the result. But that's the basics of working with the AI denoiser in Octane for Unity.